All right, well, I got them raised up as best I could. We're over here at Lower South Cave, and that Punk of Inator is still there. But, uh... Whoop, there we go. Haha, <laughs> crystal. It's one of the reasons I wanted to bring the, uh, the Stigimalok in here. You can actually get a lot of metal out of this cave, too. All these little rock piles everywhere. You can harvest pretty much all of these. But a, a Stigimalok or a, a Segnosaur do great in this cave. Tons of crystal. Nice. That dodo is still up there, isn't it? <laughs> Level 55 Dodo just chilling inside of a cave. Alright, so... Actually making fairly decent time to here, too. The Stitch Block's kind of nice. It's not slow. Now... I see you up there. You're level 55. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could try to tame it. Come on. This is weird. We got a standoff going with the snake. Alright, so... You have 3,000 torpor, 1,100 health. I could knock it out. It only takes two prime meat to... Uh... Let me go ahead and game up. Uh, two prime meat to tame up. I just have to watch out about getting Mega Rabies, is all. What the? Try again. Nope. Can I not? There we go. I couldn't shoot because I was in the wall. Okay. It's going to start torpor running here in a second. Or is it? There it goes. Like one more shot and it'll be down. And I miss that shot. One more shot and it'll be down. There we go. I do have to be careful because my red panda is angry at that right now. So it'll attack from my shoulder if I get too close to it right now. Alright. Oh! Hi. Um. Okay, next time I stitch him a lock poos, uh, we're taking the other guy home with us. That may be what I put on the top floor of my uh, egg tower, actually, is some dung beetles. There's another one over there. Oh, hi. There you are. Oh, wow, everybody's all at once here. All hail the knockback. Come on, there we go. I'm not getting prime off the snakes, though. There we go. You do not have to go poo yet. Here, um... There you go. Move that over and put that there. Got ourselves a dung beetle. All right. Let's go back over here to our Megalania. I got three of those, just in case. Tamed up with two. Got the toxin. Got 
I got a shot at by a spider. I don't know where the spider is, though. Alright. But yeah, all these rocks here, they're all... All harvestable. Alright, and... Okay, there's the other one. Is there anything else around here? No? Okay. There we go. All hail the knockback. I love the knockback in this thing. The knockback with its bite attack, anyway. I think the only thing that's hit me so far was the Megalania, and that's because I was taming it. <laughs> oh, hey. There we go. Not a lot of metal out of that one. Alright, and... Okay, we're here now. Oh, that was my panda. Okay. Where's everything else at? I mean, there was that nice big cluster of enemy... Ah, oh, here we go. Got a couple spiders. There's another one over there. Oh, there's an Arthro, though. A couple of them. There we go. Got that Arthur to shoot over my head. Alright, high damage attacks time. Oh, I got spat on. Okay. Dang it. Get these bodies out of the way. My god! What is the level on this Arthro? Freaking massive? Here, let's, uh... 140. Damn. A lot of health on that guy. Okay, quit your level of animation. Come on. Okay, and you pooed. Okay, great. My god. Pick that up in case there's any more dung beetles around. Alright. Well, that was interesting now, wasn't it? And Stigimalak leveled up again. And I leveled up. I am cold. But I ran into a green drop along the way, so I got a full suit of hide armor. Uh, stamina. Level 33. Cool. So I do another 8 damage per bite now. For like 2 levels. <laughs> oh, this water. It's always so weird. Oh, hey, look. I can't harvest... Oh, there he goes. I was going to say, I can't harvest that obsidian. Wow. That is really weird. There it goes. Just had to get the right angle on it. Ah, scorpion. I've not seen any cave drops yet, though. Oh, 
by Seth, it's a by far the safest way to get crystal with the mounts that I have right now is this cave right here. There's just so much crystal in this cave that you can harvest. I mean, heck, the first little portion of the cave up until the, where I ran into the Megalania, there's usually nothing at all there, creature-wise. So, and there's a few crystal nodes there you can sneak in and just grab. There we go. I got some fiber now. Let's move that and that over here, and we'll just... Can I not? Seriously? I thought I moved the fiber over. I moved the crystal over. Okay, that explains everything right there. I'm trying to repair my armor, and it's like, why are you not working? Hello, Mr. Dung Beetle. Level 150. You're going to take an extra piece of poo. Okay. No? Ah, okay, I can I can force you to poo though. There we go. Now Um, right. This water is usually crawling with sarcos and piranhas, so don't go down there. And this guy He's gonna take a little bit. Ah, spoiled meat's actually better than small feces, really. All right, well, let's go ahead and start um, charcoal. Yeah, I'll take that just because of the charcoal. I'm going to let him eat major berries. Uh, let's see. Where am, did I, were these my shoes? Did I transfer those over by accident? I think I did. Oh, no, actually, no, those are my shoes. Okay. I was only counting four pieces of armor. I wasn't actually specifically looking for, for booties. So there's that, that. Go ahead and feed you the stemberry seed as well. You reversed. That's strange. Alright, um. Yeah, 50 obsidian, 500 crystal, I mean, almost 600 metal. That's a pretty good run through this cave so far. Here, let's uh, feed you some of these seeds that I don't need. There you go. And you can have that one too. And those. There. Kind of condense and clean up your inventory a little bit. Yep, we're both floating. Alright, go figure, right? Do you want to, like, hurry up here? Get hungry? It's just me, or they do not have compound eyes. Uh, no, I guess they do. It's just hard to tell. I mean, how often do you actually, like, stop and take real close looks at these things? At, well, anything, really. There we go. Let's just go ahead and give it down. Got little hookies all over his legs. He's got little feet in the front. I mean, look at that. Little three-toed hands. Pretty sure dung beetles don't have that normally, so. And they usually don't have this wonderful, you know, curved rhino horn. But also, they usually don't, you know, get to be roughly the size of a human. There we go. Continue on up here, and hey, we're back in this spot, right? There's sometimes drops down there. There's explorer notes. Like it's worth going down that way at least once, but no cave drops though. Bit of a downer. I have tamed four things though since coming into this cave. 
Oh, hi. There's another dung beetle. And that would be a freaking Arthro that just spat on me. And there went my high armor. That is why I repaired my cloth. This one's almost to max level. Hey. Come with me. Alright, and this is the drop off over here? Yeah. So. Spiders. Coming out of the ceiling, okay. I don't. I do see Arthros down there, okay. You go on passive. And. Do a little bit of old-fashioned Arthro sniping here. It's kind of nice how Arthros take increased damage from ranged weapons. What I really love right now, though, is a good old-fashioned Scorched Earth Cluster Grenade. Another 140 Arthro down there. There we go. Well, there's another one down. And... There's that one down. That lodged in the cliff side, I think. Oh, just shot a scorpion. Okay, that level 60 is now dead. If I can somehow land a headshot on these little squirming bastards, then, uh... be game over, basically. And, yep, got stuck in the thing again. Speaking of stuck, there was one Arthur right there that wasn't moving. Oh, wait. There we go. 728 for a headshot. Oh, there's... This is where all the enemies were. I've never seen this many Arthurs in this cave before. Oh, and there went all my, my armor. That one shot me right in the face with the uh, digestive acid. And it's just a pile of dead bodies down here. Ow! That actually did some good damage to me. Did it do that much damage because I don't have any armor on? So it had nothing to dissolve. Could be. All right. Oops, I just got webbed. Hey, cool. You just got level. Uh, let me grab some. Oh, wow. Actually, that's you had more arrows on me than uh, I'd use this entire time. Uh, you know what? I will grab that. All 
All right, hopefully I got all the Arthros in the cave taken care of now. It only cost me, like, what, three sets of armor, four sets, something like that. There's another dung beetle and a snake, but... Come on, give me the obsidian. There we go. Hey. Come with a naked woman. With the living first stole around her shoulders. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, did I? Huh, wonder why those didn't finish crafting. Like, did I run out of resources? No, no, we're good there. All right, well. Oh yeah, here's the, the trippy water. Oh, okay. Oh my God. And there's more Arthros there too. Great. Come on guys. Seven more. And... Is that two or three Arthros? I can see two for certain. I can't tell if there's a third one. Uh, it kind of looks like it, but I doubt it. Right. Level 140, level 25. That was a headshot, but it was like a mate boosted headshot. Run away. <laughs> that was a thousand damage right there. Oh, are you being chewed on? All right, well, let's... Get my armor repaired again. That there is the reason I love using, oh, it disappeared, uh, ghillie armor in caves. Because you can repair that stuff in your inventory. Yep, looks like it was just two. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go up this way first here, All right? Look how that spider was trying to run away from me. Oh, hey, dung beetle right here. All right. Hey. Oh. Oh, hey, cool. Good timing. And Arthro had, um, eh, take that and we'll just push this on the ground. And there was another bag, wasn't there? Yeah, up here. There we go. Also Arthro, ooh, crank arrows, regular arrows. Um, yeah, nope. Nothing else worth it. Actually, you ended up with some extra crap I don't need as well. Oh, yeah, I thought I heard a snake. Oh, 
Well, I just leveled up. To be fair, there's a ton of creatures in this cave, though. Oh, there's another Arthro here. What the hell? Hey, wait, this guy's actually short enough he can fit through the door to the artifact room. And Hunter. Wow. I'm playing single player. That usually only happens in multiplayer. I want to try something, though. Hey. Yep, you can hold artifacts. That is kind of cool. Are you going to do it again for me now? No, I've never had that happen in single player before. That is so odd. Oh, you ended up with four levels as well. Cool. I am now basically out of food. Cooked food. So yeah, red pandas are based off of the otter for modeling purposes and whatnot. Movements and so on and so forth. It just does make it a lot easier. Then uh, you can add animations without a problem, but basic movement and stuff like that, it's a lot easier to base it off of an existing creature in arc. Uh, one of the things that does is they can hold artifacts. One of the other things it does is they have no oxygen stat. So you can literally take them anywhere you want underwater and they are perfectly fine the whole time however i don't believe they give you an insulation bonus so they give you the cuddle buddy instead which actually can offset a lot of temperature damage by itself all right so i think we've uh Exterminated all the vermin in the cave. Um, you can take... I'll take this and this. You can drop... I don't get another spare pick out of that, but I don't care. There we go. Um, yeah, I can get more berries when we've got. 1,700 meat. 842 chitin. That's not bad. That is a lot more chitin. Than I've had it any time before, and... Got a loot crate up here now. Apprentice Club and a Ramshackle Hyenadon meat pack. Alright, well that's something new, so not necessarily new and exciting, but uh, something new. And I need to double check what tier Megalania kibble or uh, eggs are. I think they're just superior. So the same as moss chops. But if they're a higher tier, then that would be awesome. Really kind of doubt it, though. So some of the resources are starting to respawn in here, but the uh, the monsters aren't. I figure, right? Probably because I'm in here still. Uh, Yeah, I think we're good on dung beetles for now. And... Just doing a pass through here to see if any other cave drops have spawned in. Doesn't look like it though, does it? Like, I know I took this big rock out. But it came back. You know what, we're going to use the bite to, to harvest. It gets me fiber, which I don't really need, but it's not breaking all the little rocks, so. And, yeah, the stamina on a Stigimaloc is just amazing. Oh, look, the, the tricky obsidian is back. And with all that crystal, and yeah, I mean, all the resources respawn really quick here. 
But I don't see a drop over here. I see one down there, though. That could be risky because there's a Sarko in the water right there. Two of them. Level 20 and level 60. The problem is they can dismount me. So, another problem is my... Uh, I don't think my Sigil Malak will fight by itself in the water. It's not a... Uh, an Ostraptor. Sarko's like right there. Come on, dude. Get up here. I'm trying to lure it out of the water. Where does that red glow from? Is that my torch? Hmm. Who knows? Wanted to make another pass at me. That one's dead. The Sarkos are just like... I think they're just cruising around in the water right now, right? Okay, well, we're in the water now. There's the Sarko. Okay, 20's dead. There's 60. Okay, great. They didn't manage to death roll me off my mount. Now we have piranhas, though. I think that's all of them. And I'm doing all this just for a green drop. Oh, I have the bug going on again. No. Alright, so this happened quite a few times in the Hunted as well. That is an alive Arthroplora. Mamera back. Thank you. Okay, now I gotta do this. I am not dying because of that stupid glitch. Still, there's a horde of piranhas coming after me, too. Nope. I'm just going to fly up to my mount. It's a good thing I was actually close to the ground, though, when I dismounted. Because otherwise I would have just plummeted through the water like it was air, and yeah. Splat. And more piranhas. I mean, look at that. Is this cave over spawning or something? God, what would the ice cave be like if it overspawned? That's kind of a horrific thought now, isn't it? More piranhas. Look at that. I gotta get air. Yep. All 
All right, time to get out of here, I guess. Head back to base. Might as well grab some more resources along the way, though. It's going to be a long haul back to base, too. So I'll uh, probably just go ahead and end the episode off here. Um... Seven hundred percent melee is not bad. Probably work on your uh, your health a little bit though. I have gotten this guy into some pretty dicey situations before, and he's always pulled through. So I'm I'm kind of liking him. He definitely deserves a name. But uh, and then losses to what right now? I might do another tour off camera to this cave and see if I can scrounge up any more cave drops or anything. But thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, the sign signing out. Have fun.